Howdy, hey! I'm Hess Knight theorizing on this fine day. This is the third and probably final part of my Cassidy is Crying Child's Name trilogy. Does Cassidy being Crying Child's Name affect anything? Short answer, yes. Long answer uh, is this video, and largely depends on if Steel Wool and Scott keep Princess Quest's name canonically being Cassidy. Seriously, what does this theory change? Well, all of a sudden, that rare It's Me party and Help Wanted makes sense. It's Me has only ever been in reference to Crying Child within Golden Freddy. And the one you should have killed doesn't have any association that we know with clowns. So, it doesn't make sense. Not like it would for an Afton. Perhaps Elizabeth's sister, Crying Child. However, this means that Crying Child's soul did not rest in the Happiest Day minigame or in Pizzeria Simulator. Well, none of the other often seems to have found rest. We have reason to believe that Baby, in some sense, is out there. And honestly, when has Fire actually killed William? Legitimately. But where is Crying Child? I mentioned earlier, the Princess and Princess quest was originally named Cassidy. This implies that Crying Child inhabited the game and took down her own father? That makes a little sense to me. Now, Crying Child might be acting in the one you shouldn't have killed or Charlie's stead, trying to help Gregory free Vanessa from her father's control. But it could be because... Crying Child has been there in more ways than one. Growing up under her father's control because he wouldn't let her avoid the location that would basically become instrumental to her death. And then again, as opposed to a suit that gets stuffed by William. If she's anything like the other named spirits from early on, she wants to take William down. Or at least free others from her, his control. And she does. She, with the help of Gregory, manages to defeat the glitch in Princess Quest and banish another version of William. Which would be an amazing arc for Crying Child. Going from being William's likely first accidental unintended victim to being his unintended undoing? That's awesome. But right now, the... Name of Cassidy being the name of Princess and Princess Quest is questionable at best because they changed it to just be something generic, just like Princess in Ruin. So, again, for this little mini theory to be canon, the Princesses and Princess Quest's name has to be Cassidy. And now we have another pigtail. Girl falling prey to what seems to be an Afton parallel, or what we think is an Afton parallel, and not just another, another version of William in some way. God, the mimic is such a weird but fascinating addition I don't have the energy to cover in this video. Unfortunately, in Skipper Reach and Rune, we don't see much of Cassidy slash Golden Freddy or references to the crying child. So this could be where her story ends. If you can think of anything that helps or hinders this theory overall, please let me know in the comments. I'm new to making FNAF theories, so I genuinely want to know your thoughts and how I can improve in the future. Also, unless new stuff comes out in the next game, this will be the end of this theory.